Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. In this video, I'm going to be doing Matthew's request. He says, hey Nelson, okay, so I particularly like the channels and categories drop down on the BBC iPlayer website. Uh, yeah, I took a look at it. It's pretty simple. There is some uh, drop down animations, but I'm going to break it down in the most simplest way possible using Webflow components. And it's gonna look something like this. And after you're able to learn the basics of this, it's up to you to style it and take it a bit further. All right, so let's get to it. All right, here we go. Custom menu. What we're going to do is we're going to first drag in a nav bar, okay? And let's customize this nav bar to be wider than a container, which is 960 pixels wide, okay? So I'm going to drag in a div block right above the container inside of the nav bar. And I'm going to drag in all three elements, which is the brand, the nav menu, and the menu button, and then delete the old container. And there we go. Now we have more control over the width of this nav container. I'm gonna call this nav container, and give it a max width of 1100 pixels, and center it. There we go. Let's also make sure that it's set to flex, and push things on the left and right. There we go, okay? Now that we have that, let's go ahead and drag in a drop down element right there. And we're going to call this channels. Now, how a Webflow drop down works is when you open it, it has this drop down list right here that's set to position absolute and it's targeting this drop down. So the top left will be right at the bottom of the drop down uh, element. But we want to make this full width. So how to customize this is very simple. Let's go ahead and look at how Webflow styles this. So it's set to absolute and it says it's targeting body, but it's not really. It's actually targeting its parent element that has a position relative, which is this. Okay, so we're going to give this the class name of dropdown and we remove the relative and set it to static. Okay, see, now we see something happening. Now we need to do the same thing with the nav menu. I'm going to click on nav menu and notice how it has position relative. So let's give it a class name and set this to static. All right, and let's check nav bar. Well, let's check nav container. It's set to static. Okay, good. Nav bar, it's set to relative. That's fine. That's fine. We'll leave it like that. Okay. So now when we go back to drop down list and we open it, notice how it goes all the way there. Okay. But we want to push this even further and we'll do absolute top. And there we go. Now it took up the whole width by doing that. But it's overlapping with the main nav bar. So let's go ahead and push this down. Uh, we'll start with 10 pixels, pixels. And so it's still over. So we got to find out where it is and it's 60. How do I know that? Because I practiced this already. So <laughs> it's 60, all right? So if I go ahead and click out and preview it, click on channels, there we go. Let's make this um, drop down a different background color so we can actually see the difference. So this nav bar, I'm gonna change it to something dark. Let's give everything a white color. And also this one right here. There we go. All right, and when I open this, we should give it a dark color as well for the drop down list. All right, let's give this a dark color. There we go. And all of these links, let's give it a nav link. There we go. Awesome. Now, we don't want them stacked on top of each other. We want them all in one row. So 
easily done. We'll go back to the drop down list and set this to flex. And there we go. Okay. Maybe set it to the left. Okay, cool. So this is what we want. Let's add more links, see what happens. There we go, cool. Yeah, something like that. And let's make sure that it's inside of a nav container so that way it's not too wide. So I'm going to drag in a div block inside the drop down list and put all my links in there. So I'll just grab this and call this channel link copy and paste it and set this one to let's see here nav links set this to flex yeah flex centered max width 1100 pixels and uh let's see here can the width be a hundred percent there we go. Cool. So that's what I want. All right. So we have all my channel links and let's click out and see what it looks like. Cool. Now let's add another one. So what I can do is get this drop down, copy paste and call this categories. And we'll open the menu for that and just call this category link. I'm going to delete the other ones and copy paste and preview. There we go. All right. And we can also change what the toggle looks like. For example, when I open this, okay. When I open this, I have, ugh, when I open this, I should have a, there we go, a green combo class called open. And that way I can set this background to this same color to indicate that I'm on that dropdown. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, what does it look like for, for uh, mobile? Well, let's see here. If I go here. And let's go ahead and make this white. If I go to tablet, make this menu button white and I open menu, it looks messed up. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So how we're going to fix this is we're going to make sure that these, uh, that everything, oh man, is kind of giving me a little bit of anxiety because it's all crazy. Let's set everything to basic, uh, block. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see this nav menu, basic block. Okay, cool. All right. So we have these and okay, so we're set to open. If I close it, okay, I see what's happening. So if I open it, there's these are coming from the right for some reason. And I think it's because the nav menu should be set to position absolute. And there we go. And now Webflow there, the custom styles that Webflow has is now taking over again. Okay. And so there we go. It looks good for all sizes. Let's go ahead and try it. All right. So these are going in one row. So all we have to do to fix that is we're going to open the menu and then go to drop down toggle and open this. And so this drop down list, all we have to do is set the display to block. Oh, okay. Set the display to block and also the nav links display to block. And there we go. So if we test this, there we go. And it looks good on all sizes. All right, there we go. Hope this helps. All right, so that's how you make a custom menu, a custom drop-down menu inside of Webflow. Uh, yeah, 
Thank you so much, Matthew, for your request. If you have a request for a future video, go ahead and put that request in the comments below. Or if you have any feedback on this video, add that to the comments as well. If you haven't already done so, please click on the subscribe, like, and notification bell. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope these are very valuable to you. It's fun to create these tutorials for you all. It's fun to share the power of Webflow. And that's about it. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.